Hello, everyone, and welcome to this square room. I am Jonelle. Hi, I'm Eugene. And we thank you so much for tuning in and listening. If you are a fan of the podcast, you can find us on Instagram and Twitter at this square room. And we also have a website where you can find everything from episodes to blog posts to news and everything. And that is www.thissquareroom.com. Additionally, if you're interested in us as individuals, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Jonelle Wilson, that's J-O-N-E-L-W-I-L-S-O-N, and Eugene at H-U-G-H-G-E-N-E-B on Instagram. So what's up? Nothing much. How's your week been? Eh, all right. I know, right? Ugh. The weather's been nice, though, so, like, that's a it's good been, plus. Yeah. Yeah. It's been all right. And, like, the Raptors are in the playoffs, as we talked about last week. So, or, sorry, for the finals. Yeah, that's good. Warriors, Raptors, blah, they won. Game two is tonight. I don't know shit about we, basketball. We, we won game one. Yeah. We have, to, we, we have to win four. Oh, okay. So, game two is another home game, and it's tonight. And then... Um, the next one's in San Fran? Yeah. Oh, okay. Golden State territory. Yeah, I don't know how that shit works, to be honest. Yeah. I think it'll be cool if they win, but... I think that, you know, we have, like, the home team advantage. Um, mm. A friend of mine who, like, is a basketball player, Lee, mm. she was telling me that, like... Because I was like, is there really a huge advantage when you're at home? Yeah. Like, I feel like... I don't... I'm not a basketball player. I'm not an athlete. But I feel like there's, like, so much distractions. Even though the teams are, like, cheering for you, like, when you're home. Mm. I just feel like it's, like, distracting having all the noise and everything yeah, going on. Imagine having like six thousand people shouting at you that you suck. No, I know, but what what actually what she said to me, I'm pretty sure it's way more than six thousand that the, the mm. arena can hold. But she said that um, she doesn't find it distracting as a player, and actually it hypes you up when you have your home team and you shoot and you score and everyone goes yeah. crazy and they're cheering for you. Like it really gives you that motivation. So hopefully Toronto can win mm. game two because yeah. we have the the home court advantage. Maybe. But um, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's like one of those like stupid hypothetical questions who do you think could win um in like a fight no sorry i shouldn't say that i should say who do you think is the best villain voldemort the night king or thanos thanos you didn't even think about it because the night king got fucking stabbed in the fuck the night king got uh, got dealt dirty by the game of thrones he should have gotten like First of all, dragon fire didn't yeah, kill him. Yeah, but that shit that, that that that's the reason why Game of Thrones pissed me off because they hyped up this dude. No, but like they the, made it very clear that all he needed was dragon glass or Valyrian. Actually, no, no I don't think Valyrian like, will work on him. I think it was just just a dragon glass through the heart. But how are you gonna hype up this guy for like ten years and then do him like that? Like that battle was meh. Because that's the, that's the reality of life. Yeah, Things that you hype up can tend to let you shitty, down. Shitty, fucking lazy writing. But why? Did you, so you made a face when I said the Night King. But why did you make a face when I said Voldemort? It was Voldemort's hater. meh too. So but you Thanos think, beats all of them. He doesn't beat. He crushes all of them. Here's the thing, though. He doesn't even need the. He doesn't even need the fucking. The fucking Infinity Gauntlet to beat them. He could beat them all without the Infinity Gauntlet. Well, okay, that's why I specifically because that was going to be my follow up question. Up Hulk. My my follow up question was going to say who would win in a fight out of because like yeah Thanos yeah I think Thanos would win. Th- He's first of all, than Voldemort. All too. I don't think he can, especially after Harry Potter like made him into that like weird little ugh, yeah, like. He's smarter than all of them too. I mean, Thanos is a genius. I don't... I mean, th- he is smart. He's th- a comic book nerd. He's a genius. Okay, but Voldemort was a very, very smart. He was the top of his class. He was the half... He wiped out half the universe. Okay, Voldemort could wipe out half the universe if he chose, but he wants but followers. Thanos didn't want followers. Voldemort Even can better. Wave, Voldemort can wave his wand That's and just kill impressive. somebody and kill you instantly. He just snapped his finger and killed you. You know how hard it was for him to acquire the Infinity Stones? Voldemort naturally has that talent. He has he a talent it, that nobody else has seen until but Harry the, Potter came but along. But the thing about Thanos is that he is one of the greatest wizards of all time, Tom Riddle. The thing is that Thanos doesn't need the gauntlet to do as much damage that he did. Physically, he can do a lot of damage. And but he mentally, can't, too. He How? He has psychotic powers, too. Psychotic. <laughs> Psychological. Psychological. Psychotic powers. 
<laughs> no, Thanos was is one of he once again he beat up Hulk. And if you know anything about like comic book now, and if you know anything about Hulk, there is a Hulk called World Breaker Hulk. Kind of sounds pretty obvious what he did. So pretty much what happened to Hulk because you know in the you know in uh, Thor Ragnarok mm-hmm. how they kind of sent Hulk away. So in the comic books they actually did that, but how it was that I kind of hate how they did it in the comic. But I hate how they I hate how they did Hulk and Thor in the fucking last movie too. They made Thor into and Hulk into the probably the most powerful characters into two little bitches. I was very underwhelmed by Thor. I thought he would get his shit together by the end no, of the movie. No, it was so fucking stupid. You're a god who's been alive for thousands of years, who's fought through thousands of fucking wars, and then this turns you into a bitch and you're playing Fortnite. And like, First one, of all, no, no, become... no. I think that's realistic because even the mightiest can fall, and I, I think it's very. Um... How do you get fat? You're a god. You probably have the metabolism of like a fucking yeah. Sprinter. He he literally was doing nothing. That's how he got fat. And it remember was it three years or five years that had passed? Bro, I don't. I don't years know that. had passed, so he had time to get fat. He literally was not doing anything, just drinking beer. The oh, people man. in the town said they saw him like once a month when he came to like collect oh, his shit, it was and that was it. I was disappointed because Thor is one of my favorite. Like I like Nordic mythology in general and Thor's one of like my favorite gods yeah and to see him done like and then the Hulk I don't give a fuck about the Hulk but same thing like first of all don't just dis- I love the Hulk Professor I think Hulk he you is- like Professor Hulk that I think he is bitch, so a do very anything. underrated um, character. He is an underrated character. I think character, he needs another not, movie yeah, on has, his own, but they need story. to do him justice. Great like story. Like I'm saying, like so when they sent him, so like you know, they can like, they sent him to that planet. So mm-hmm. how that story actually goes is that they do send him to another planet, and the whole fighting thing does happen. But what happens is that Hulk, he can start talking and stuff now, whatever. He falls in love with I can't remember. Oh, the he's chick. still in Hulk mode though. He's not still like in Hulk not mode. the yeah, not, not what we Brunette. saw in no, he's not in Banner. Okay. So he's still in Hulk mode. He's not like Professor Hulk. He's like I more mean like, Hulk can talk. He just chooses. He just kind of yeah. Talks but like he talk, in like the series. He talked properly. He fell in love with like some chick and whatever. And then the ship that he got sent on right blew up and then kind of killed everybody. And then he got super angry at the Avengers and whatever. And he kind of vowed to like just fuck them up. So he literally he had his buddies and whatever came back to Earth. Pretty much fucked up everybody. Like the X Men, the event, he beat up everybody, and he, I don't know that that and that itself could have been a movie, but instead they just made Ragnarok, and then they made him into a Professor Hulk. I thought Ragnarok was the worst. I didn't think it was movie. that bad. All the four movies are bad. No, I'm a fan. I mean, like Loki. If we're talking about favorite villains, Loki. Yeah, Loki's a good villain. Is he is probably the best villain. I can't think. I'm sure no, maybe there Thanos is one is that I don't villain. know. No. No, Thanos is maybe stronger. I don't think he's smarter than Loki. I don't think he is more cunning. It's just physical strength. Yeah, Thanos will beat Loki, but Loki is is the best villain in my eyes. And like, you can't, there's nothing else you can say. The same way I can say like Spider-Man is the best superhero in my eyes. And there's literally nothing else you can say. I've gotten in arguments with people about like, like who would win in a fight, Captain America versus Spider-Man. And like, no, he wouldn't. Why? No, he wouldn't because... Spider-Man could essentially fight in a way where Captain America couldn't even touch him because of the webs and his ability to like jump and stick to things and everything like that. Captain America has a shield. Without that, all you need is a pew, 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 webs, and you're done. If it was a hand-to-hand combat fight, of course, Captain America okay, is a lot stronger. Wolverine? Versus whom? Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man's abilities allow him to beat a lot of people. Um, I think Spider-Man could beat a lot of people, but I don't know about Wolverine because I feel like he could like. Well, first of all, Wolverine is dead. Wolverine doesn't die. Well, he's quote unquote dead. Okay, but I'm, I'm talking but about. But I feel like he could like world. claw out of his out of the web. So that is um. Again, Spider-Man can he can't fly, but he can swing. Spider-Man versus and also it depends Wolverine. on the environment that, that Spider-Man's in too, because Spider-Man's in like. a that field right there he's fucked that's the thing spider-man in an open field is screwed in an open field with nothing he's um, screwed he's more screwed but remember he does have heightened strength and speed so does captain america no i know but that's what i'm saying so like he's not completely fucked he can still fight hand to hand but he's not the strongest out of all the superheroes but like once you put him in a place where there's no trees or buildings he's screwed no because just he's screwed from swinging he can yeah, run big... he can jump he can fight and he can still shoot his webs at whoever yeah, the target a, and is too, he, what if he runs out of web shooters he doesn't he does no he doesn't it's not, not anymore or, not organic spider not if, anymore. It, if it was 
I think it's amazing Spider-Man is one that has the organic shooters that come out of his arm and then like, I think um superior I can't remember like the other one like the one that we have in the in the movies is the one that has the, the Iron Man shooters, suit yeah which I never like because the Tim Holland Spider-Man is organic Tom Holland, Tom Holland. is cr- the current Spider-Man what, what's the what was Toby the Maguire Toby whatever you're saying Tim it's Toby it's Tom I don't know celebrities but it's it's Spider Man. The old Spider the cringy Spider Man. He his Toby came- Maguire is the OG and the best. As much as I love Tom, I really really love him. He's perfect for the role. But like, I'm sorry, Toby Maguire is is they're like this to me. Like they're like tied mm. for like a, like and yeah. Yeah, he was like Andrew Garfield. It was that sucked. Yeah. No, like I just he's he's a great actor, but just don't leave my Spider Man. Once again, Spider. I don't know. I, I it's really annoying how I find like Marvel and even. Yeah, just like, why do you keep rehashing Spider-Man's story? Like, I find, I'm happy that they don't anymore, because once in Spider-Man 2, in that universe, there's tons of stories they can make out of it. Yeah, there's you know the, um, the Into the Multiverse, that actually wasn't bad at all. I really enjoyed that one. What, that movie? The, the cartoon one. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't there's bad at one, all. With that, too, there's so much more they can do. Okay, so between the Night King, you say Thanos is like... And Thanos would crush all of them. Okay. Not even just strength. He's smarter than all of them. He's a genius. He's as smart as... He's as smart, if anything, smarter than Iron Man. He's not just like physics and all that stuff. He's a war. He's like, he has this... He's just an all-round... Like he's a general. Imagine a general. Okay. A war expert, like a hardened war general. That's also a scientist. Like a... Like a... Like a... Like a Thomas Edison level genius. It's funny because or Nikola what, Tesla what level Thanos genius. did, I understand why he he thought he was doing something good. He thought the world was overpopulated and wow. he was Hitler over him. But that's what I'm, I was about to say. Like that's very Hitler of him to think about. Hitler was a smart man as well. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like that doesn't make I don't know. Like that shit is just crazy to me. Like Voldemort wanted power and followers, and the Night King just wanted an endless night. He lives in winter. He just wants it to be winter forever. Yeah. And he got done dirty. But between the Night King and Voldemort, first of all, Voldemort was so scary to people that they couldn't even say his name. We he was bitches. he who shall not be named. We were bitches in that universe. That's why. <laughs> Anyways, between the in two, that universe. so Thanos is I'm number not one say out his of the name three because I'm too scared. Oh, he has no nose. Oh, so scary. Oh, oh my god. And that's the Harry Potter universe. Fucking J.K. Okay. Rowling's Listen, bitch ass I'm, constantly changing As characters. a huge Harry Potter fan, I'm, what I'm not going to do is sit here and allow you to disrespect it. Look, man, Harry Potter's meh. That's that's what I'm not going to do. I don't know. Maybe if I watched it when I was a kid, when I maybe if I watched it when I was a kid, I would have appreciated. They might it be more. coming out with um, I'm not like three it. more books or something like that. J.K. Care. Rowling, I would love that. You can read. And I really want to see the Cursed Child, the play. What's that? It's it's a play, the Harry Potter play, Harry oh, Potter God. and the Cursed Child. I have the book. You've Who's seen the me. Cursed Child. You. I am. Answer my question. Who's the cursed child? The Dark Knight. Or the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. <laughs> the Night King. You, you got me. <laughs> We're not even talking about the DC Universe. That's trash. DC Universe is great. Trash. The Anyways. movies are trash. And trash. The Anyways, comic books are trash. great. Their anime movies are very Voldemort good. Voldemort or the Night King? Uh. I still, I think the Night King ranks last out of all of them. Yeah, I guess. I guess Voldemort has more of the psychological part down. Voldemort again, can literally can. get in his enemy's head, which you know what the Night King could do as well. But Voldemort can do it better. He can make you see things that are not really there. The Night King could only just kind of like see what's happening, see your location, kind of three eyed raven. I don't know. Like if I was like to, it depends on like my situation, I guess. Like if I was in a field and I saw the Night King, and then all the people would be like, "Oh shit, shit." But if I saw like I was in the field and I saw Voldemort, I'd be like, "Who's this no nose bitch?" Who's, all he has to do is wave his wand, and you're who's, dead. What who's do you this mean? Krillin looking motherfucker. I'd be more scared of. I don't know. I think from like a on site, I'd be more scared of the Night King because he's fucking blue and shit. But I think um, Voldemort's scary to look at. <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I'd just laugh at him. Oh, because well, I'd be like, "Where's your nose, bro?" Eugene, some people really don't have noses. Well, then get a new one. If you don't have enough cartilage, and so see, get like, a plastic one, like one of those, like the ones that are attached to some yeah. glasses, and you just <laughs> yeah, wear just it. do that. Oh my it's better God. than nothing. <laughs> better than having holes in your face. Well, a nose is essentially just two holes in your face. Yeah, but like the difference is, is that there's protection. It aims down rather than if you have no nose, it just kind of. Voldemort there. must be able to smell danger coming from him. <laughs> I don't think he can smell anything. Oh god! Is that a yawn? I don't know what that was. 
something that I actually heard the other day was apparently the um one of the I don't know who it was just one of them one of the developers on the new Mortal Kombat game Mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat 11 Mm -hmm. um had to get into like therapy or like counseling why because he was having like I guess like PTSD or like trauma from from the fatalities from looking at so many graphic deaths over and over like you know to like develop the game and stuff like yes it, it gave him like trauma okay you can i i can see why i can see why because like i wonder if they like still. really have to like look at it with like more like realistic people and then they like emulate it. like i don't know how they do it i guess i guess it to make the to design the guts and whatnot they actually do have to look at that yeah i guess yeah, and you know, and like I guess to see yeah, that over sense. and over and over again, and be I like, feel like you get desensitized from it. Some people would, but Sensitive. maybe you're somewhat desensitized, but like you have underlying trauma, you know? Because yeah, yeah. in order to desensitize, you have to like your body is trying to, like your brain is trying to like protect mm-hmm. itself. Because apparently, the new Call of Duty game is like really bad, like graphic and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's very like because it's like they made it. What's more Call of Duty rated? No. Uh, but apparently, like some people are thinking, this new one that's coming out, which I'm actually excited for, might get an A rating because mm-hmm. in the campaign, apparently, there's like really because like Call of Duty got like was got in the news like back when Modern Warfare Two came out. So that was when was that? That was 2009, I want to say, because they had this mission called No Russian, and pretty much what it was is that a bunch of these Russian guys, right? They plan like an attack. They pretty much plan an attack on Russia to make, but then act like they're Americans to make, you know, like, mm-hmm. to make the public think that the U.S. committed an attack on Russia. Mm-hmm. But the problem was, is that one of the guys in there wasn't actually, he was a CIA agent spying on the guy, which his name was Makarov. And he pretty much took part in this note because he's, he's acting like he's part of the crew, you know, and like police send a person to spy on like another gang, whatever. And then they have to, to make themselves seem convincing. You have to do it. It's pretty much this guy. Mm-hmm. Pretty much what like they you, you plant a mole in, and they're yeah. like undercover. So pretty yeah. much in this, but Makarov guy, he knew that the guy was CIA, but the CIA guy didn't know that he was CIA. Didn't know that Makarov knew. Okay. But pretty much they did the mission. The mission pretty much is, is that you go in the airport, you just mow down everybody. Oh my god. And that mission that got people like, oh my god, this is so graphic. And apparently in this game, there's gonna be something like worse, which wouldn't be surprising because with all this. Ice is shit, and there's a lot of motivation and a lot of ideas they can come Ooh, up with. Yikes, we're not, we're definitely not gonna get into that, especially the way you said mowing down with all of these van attacks and stuff. There hasn't been any van attacks in a while. Mm, not that we know about, but there was a mass shooting in Virginia like over, like a couple days ago. Oh, dang it. I actually, I don't know all the facts about it, so I don't want to speak on it because I don't like to speak on things that I'm not educated about, Sweet. but like. Oh, Alabama. I didn't say Alabama. <laughs> what? <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> so I was reading an article the other day and it was, I think it was only women's stories. It was like a Cosmo article. Oh, what a great outlet to read about. Read on. It just entered. I'm not looking. Excuse me? Cosmetol. Blah, blah, blah. Say it. The Cosmetol. Fuck. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> no, the Cosmetol. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to say cosmetology. I am. But co- am I? well, it sounds Cosm- like co- cosmetology is like when you go to school for like makeup and hair and like you Co- know. Fuck it. Man. Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan. Just call it Cosmo. Cosmo. Yeah. Isn't that like the site that teaches like women like this is how you pleasure your man? Put a donut around his. Dick. Well, it's it's a it's a magazine, Cosmo magazine. But yes, they it's do a, those, they like, do a lot it's of one that. Of those like women's magazines that are like. It's not targeted. a women's magazine, but it has a lot. It's definitely it's like geared targeted towards. to like house moms or stay at home moms that have nothing else to do. Like, you know what? I used to enjoy a Cosmo magazine from time to time. Well, if you like that, be like my airport anymore. read. I haven't read Cosmo yeah, in years, good. but good. Why? Nothing's wrong you with it. You need some brain cells, man. To each, shut up. Well, yeah, you'll lose some. They'll tell you to put a donut around your man's dick and suck it. Actually, it's a grapefruit. It's called the grapefruit. I know the grapefruit. Everyone knows the wow, wow. Everyone knows that <laughs> fucking shit. Not every. <laughs> everyone has seen that video. That now. sound was like surprisingly accurate. <laughs> if um if you guys are listening and you don't know what we're talking about, just look up the grapefruit method and just, just make sure you're alone. Lady. It's NSFW. So 
And just, nah, man. Just Show it to the world. Just heads up. Put it on a projector. No, but I was reading this article, and it was about, like, people who've, like, been, like, caught masturbating. But it was, like, primarily women. And, like, I was thinking about it, and I'm like... How you get caught as a woman? It's so easy to hide. That's what I was going to say. I'm like, I don't have... Like, first of all, m- me personally, and I've never even heard, like, any of my friends, like... I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe women just don't talk about it as much, but... I feel like it's so much easier to to hide when you're a woman, you know? Like, you just kind of, like, stick your hand in your pants or, like, yeah, you're you under the covers. Around. Yeah. Not a lot I, of hand movement going on. But I feel like... I don't know. Like I feel There doesn't like need to be a lot of hand movement going on. There doesn't need to be? You can easily hide... A woman can easily hide themselves masturbating. You just put a fucking... A towel... Put a sweater over your crotch. I guess. And no one's really... Like... Okay, so so one there was like a bunch of them, but one that I thought uh. that was really funny because like it was like women sharing their stories. Mm. So this one, it's pretty short. It says, "When I was about fourteen, I would use my shower head to masturbate. I did it every day, every time I showered. One day, I was apparently taking too long in the shower, and my mother let herself into my bathroom. I was not allowed to lock the doors. She pulled open the shower curtain while I was mid orgasm." The most embarrassing part of this story was that I didn't even notice my mother was staring at me because my eyes were rolled back from the pleasure. Finally, after I came, I opened my eyes and instantaneously locked eyes with my mother. Why would the mom just stand there? That's I was kind of like, um, at least do like, a <clears throat> like, and first of all, your kid is in the shower. Like, bro, I'll just walk away. The only way I can see myself opening the shower curtain on my kid is if I feel like I they may be. Wouldn't. Like, if I feel like they've been in there long and, like, there's no sound and, like, maybe... Like, if I heard, like, ah! like I'd Yeah, like, like oh, maybe they passed out. No, 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 no. I'm thinking, like, if you're not hearing anything and you're worried, like, you might, like... But, like well, I would say something at first, but, like, hey! Yeah, that's what I mean. You don't just pull back. Like, what type of invasive-ass mother is this? Are you alive? <laughs> Are you masturbating? Masturbating? Okay. And then, like, once I open the curtain and I see that, like, if I would close it. Like, if, if you really... I wouldn't open it. I would just say something. I know, but I'm saying if I even got to that point, like, just to stand there. Just be like, oh, what you doing? First of all, you knock at the door. If you don't hear anything, you crack the door and you don't stick your head in. You just kind of stick your mouth in and you're kind of hey! like, are you okay? Is everything okay in there? And what then you, doing? you wait for a response. That's not how you just shower head, young lady! <laughs> I feel like that's what she said Shame after. on you. Jesus is watching! <laughs> Why is Jesus watching? Because Jesus is always watching. You know who's watching. the biggest hoe in history? Santa Claus? Mary. No. She's not the Virgin Mary. Sorry, I wasn't saying Santa Claus is a hoe. I was saying Santa Claus is always watching too. Yeah, but like, how, who, who's, who's, who, who's Mary's um, husband? John? Joseph? Joseph? Yeah, he's a dumbass. Aren't you the, um, or you're saying she was hoeing around and oh, just yeah, said, yeah. I'm a virgin. Oh yeah, I'm pregnant. Joseph, I'm pregnant. God just gave me a baby out of nowhere. I didn't fuck anybody. There was a woman, uh, a young... Do you believe me, Joseph? There was a woman on Dr. Phil who said that she... Yeah, it's called therapy. ...was pregnant and it was God's baby yeah, as well. Yeah, I think it turns out she had like an ulcer or something. Yeah, it's called go to therapy. But she was also pregnant for like two years. Yeah, it's called go to therapy. Yeah, no, that's like, a, like mental issues. No, what I was trying to get at was <clears throat> as a, a woman, like we don't really have a lot of stories where... We are caught masturbating. Yeah, you guys shouldn't be able to get caught. I'm curious about you. Like, when or like, what was your know, first time? You've never gotten caught? No, I've been caught watching porn, but I never got caught masturbating. You've never got caught masturbating? Yeah, not, bro. I'm smart with that shit. Interesting. When was your first time, like, getting caught, like, I can, um, watching porn? I think I was, like, in the basement or whatever. Who caught you? Your mom? Yeah. Oh. She's like, what were you watching? I was like... <gasps> You said? Yeah, she saw it. I would have been like, eh, nothing. You can't hide what I... What it was like mean? obvious, like no, you couldn't... Yeah. What, you were watching on the computer, TV? Yeah, I was watching, Who the fuck watches porn on the TV? This ba- is not 1985. Back in the day? On, yeah, like in the fucking early, maybe early 2000s, early 90s. No, in... Because what? When you, I was in high school... you People still watch porn? I You're not... First of all, I'm not that old, everybody. You're making it sound like you're that old. I know I am, but no, no, no. In my, my day, we watch porn on TV. My my two best friends, particularly one of them, she knows that, like... Because we both had the same um, cable provider, um, and it had, like, the uh, like the, oh, the high was channels. Was it like Bell? It was. I wasn't trying to expose that, but... Was it... I, I remember the channel. Channel 302. Yeah. I thought 341. <laughs> I remember it was like after 11 o'clock and that porn was trash. No, I just watched it. Channel it's 302 trash. on Bell back in the day. And like they used to show like hardcore, like full blown. No, I, no, I remember that porn. It was trash. 
I think once no 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 we're thinking different things. No, I know. No, it, it was started at eleven o'clock. Blown like eleven or twelve. It yeah. started at eleven, ended at about three. I I, I know. Whoa, it was you trash. know the whole <laughs> the porn was trash. No, it was trash. Okay, but you lived in a different region, so the channels are slightly different. I lived twenty minutes away. From I know, you. but your channels are different. They're not that different. Everyone knows that like MTV is like channel thirty. Yeah, but it doesn't mean like or sorry. Uh, that was much. Man, yep. MTV's like 56. I watched porn when I was younger. I know. The channels. I know, but the channels are different where you... I'm telling you. <sighs> the porn was trash. Either way, for me and my innocent mind and yeah. my friend and her innocent mind, we were like, what? Is that a penis? We were like... I remember that's the first time I ever saw a curved dick and like <laughs> curved to the left. <laughs> We were on the phone because we would talk on the phone and, and like that penis curved left. We'd be talking on the phone and then you you guys watch porn and talk on the phone <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> what the fuck kind of kinky shit were you into when you were a kid? No, 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 no. But here's the thing: it wasn't a, of a, out of arousal. It was not a sexual thing for us at all. It was like, oh my god, like look at that. Who who was this friend? I'm Tell not gonna after. tell you. Tell me after. I, yeah, I I'll tell guess. you after. I'm sure you can I guess. guess. <laughs> but. We, we would sick. be on the phone and then like that time of night would come around and she'd be like Ew. channel 302 and I'd be like yep channel 302 Ew. and we put it on and we'd be watching how you know one of y'all weren't masturbating I don't think she was and how I don't do masturbate that? I don't, so I don't know no, I don't know man I feel like one of y'all for me like fiddling your little diddle you know, playing the I little don't DJ. masturbate and like even so like that's not gonna turn me on like having mm-mm, like watching other, like portage is not really something that I, I mean, if it gets you off, that that's by all means. Like, that's fine. Mm. Do you? But, like, for me, like, porn just doesn't really do it. For me, porn it's... Porn the devil. Porn, for me, is something... A lot of puss. Like, I, again, I've watched it because out, out of, like, amusement. Like, oh, like, let me see this. Like, oh, let amusement? me... Yeah, like, for instance, like, I'm a fan of Lena the Plug. She's a YouTuber. She's, like, a, a, a <laughs> cam girl. And, like, she released some porn. And I was like, huh, www.pornhub.com. Just to like see because I like this person and like, you know, support the work. And also viewing some of her stuff helped her win like one of the awards at the like the porn awards. We're just like, I helped you. No, but like, I'm I just watched saying. It. Like, it's more out of. I wasn't like, oh, yeah, Lena. Like, no, not at all. It's Why? just kind of like, no, it's Why? just not my thing. But I don't. I don't, I don't think it was my friends either. I think literally it was just like watching it for amusement. We did a mm. lot of like. Now that looking back yeah, on it's it, fucking weird. we did a lot of like weird That's shit. Pretty weird. Because you know that I couldn't do that. You know that website XNXX. Yeah. So like a friend of mine introduced me to that, and I was like, mm, again, porn is not my thing, and that website is like bleh, gross. At least like uh, channel three hundred two was like you know you just, I don't know, but like when you just see all the little thumbnails and it's just like the nastiest things, like I was like disgusted. But what I would do from time to time, only did it a handful of times, and again, it wasn't because it got me off mm-hmm. it's because it was just interesting to me i would Sensualized. go to the section where they have sex stories and people would write like stories mm-hmm. and um i like i would read those and sometimes i'd be on the phone with the same friend and i would read them to her i know this sounds it sounds weird now that i'm saying it yeah. but i swear to god it wasn't weird sure no it wasn't fucking weird no but for me here's the thing i love reading i've been reading since i was a kid and like i've read a couple romance novels as well romance novels that have like sex in it not like 50 shades type shit but like you know Mm. but like the idea of like i love that like that's the thing if i was gonna watch porn that's the only way to be able to watch it like porn with like a story and then like it can yeah good luck watching porn then I know that's that's You're like the, the most like story. female thing I said, and that's why, why and that's story? why stuff like Fifty Shades was created is for women who can, I just don't want like I just don't want to see Shades, that Shades was wasn't that trash wasn't that trash book? No, it was a bestseller. Just because it was a bestseller it doesn't mean it was good. For someone like you, because you're just like, what is this shit? No, but I it's just, romance, but, it's but sex, heard, like, it's the, love. No, I didn't, no, I didn't read the book. I did no, see I the first trash. and second movies, and like the movies are fine. I don't. I mean, I yeah, watched both, but I hate that fantasy shit. It's not a fantasy. He was just kind of like into BDSM and he was like a man of power and wealth and she was just a regular woman. So he was very controlling. It was like that type of dynamic. So it's like a kink. It wasn't fantasy. It wasn't like different, like a different world or anything. It was normal. So it was, it was like fantasy and the fact that like, oh, this isn't my life, but like it could be. Mm. And like when you can, that's the thing about reading, right? You immerse yourself and it, it just and becomes you more. Wanting it in real life and then you have all these crazy expectations and then the dude doesn't meet those expectations, and then you're like, oh, I'm 
Yeah, specific. I mean, the only thing was, like, the, the stories on X and XX, a couple of them were very well written. And I was like, wow. But some of them, like, I'd start reading and I'm like, and, like, even my friend were like, we need to mm, stop this. Mm. Okay, I've never actually done that. I've been on... A X, lot of them are X, about X, incest. And I'm like, what the hell? Incest porn is very popular right now, actually. The soul stepsister, mom, stepmom. It's being popular. I'm telling you. Yeah, I've, this I've, is years I've, X and X Guys, is one of my right mains. now, he's going on X and No, I've never actually looked at the, the stories. Sex stories. Yeah. No, I don't watch porn, but, like, I used to read sex stories from time to time. Hmm. I don't do that Let's anymore. Let's see if I can find one. Oh. <laughs> read, read, read some of the titles. <laughs> a boy in his dungeon. Uh, exhibitionist sister. Ew. Barn duty. See, that's, that's incest. Jail bait. Home for the summer. Oh, that's a chance at sex. I'm Home gonna, for I'm the summer sounds like Coach a- John part three. Where's part one? And two. Whoa. Oh, I want to see. Oh, okay. Sister wife. Question mark. That's not right. <laughs> a lot of people read these. Holy shit. Yeah, like I'm not alone. It's Damn. crazy. Damn. Cock and ball torture. Let me ask you. Cannibalism. Whoa. Let me ask you. Blackmail. Black. Okay, stop looking Asian. at porn. Oh, stop. I'm still on the, the stories. Aliens a category. Yeah, by the but way. you're I, I know. I kind of want to read a sex. I told you there's like a there's like a dildo that that um, has like an alien shape. Yeah, I know. It's not just a shape. It's something that it actually Animal. lays eggs, and like well they're they're safe to go in the female body, but it's a feeling of like you know like when like having the eggs laid inside of you and like having that fantasy. I don't remember what the exact name is called. It's I called remember, therapy. I remember watching a cut video and they were talking about like different like people's. <laughs> dildos and stuff like that and like their preferences and i saw that for the first time and i was like wow and like people knew what that was it was like a thing and i'm like wow this is like i guess it's the same type of people who like tentacle porn right like yeah. to each his own but like i don't want to be impreg- impreg- can you stop reading that <laughs> please what i was going to ask you is yeah. since you said x and xx is one of your regulars it's pretty much my regular actually. really that's your go-to it's pretty much probably since like grade 10 now now <laughs> Now, when you the next time you go on it, you're gonna like, oh, sex stories. Let's I'm see. I'm curious now, actually. Some of them are really poorly written, but some of them I are imagine. actually really, like some people are like writers and they write this stuff. Like it's good. Some yeah, like of them. writers. Yeah, but um, no, I was gonna ask you, what's your like go to? What's your your genre? What's my kink? <laughs> I mean, what's I wasn't talking. Kink? I wasn't gonna talk about kink. Is is uh, is your porn <laughs> preference the same as your kink? It could be, but it may not be different. I feel like people may be into stuff in real life, but they also like will maybe watch oh, the geez. opposite in. Sorry. In like the porn universe. No, know? my go-to is this amateur, amateur homemade, ebony. Is that it? Interracial. That's pretty much it. No. Pretty standard. You so you prefer amateur over professional porn? Yeah, because it's it just professional. Just looks stupid. It looks yeah. You know, real. Maybe that's why you didn't like Channel Three Hundred Two because for you, no, like, that's it's all produced. Pro- it's all produced and boring. It's like, bro, yeah. this shit looks fake as fuck. Yeah. It just looked fake. It looked boring. Yeah. And it always looked the same. It always looked the same. You know, the guy with the curved dick was a regular. Like, he'd be in various things, and we'd be like, oh, my God, is that the same thing? Is that curved dick, dude? <laughs> curved to the left, Can I bro. read this, man? Kyle. You want to... Okay, Kyle's read, eyes. read like, a couple lines. Go ahead. Let me, let me see if there's anything interesting. Oh, my God. You know, we'll do this next episode. I'll, oh. find, I'll, I'll start finding some sex stories to read, actually. Oh, God. Because I never, I never actually, like... Day. Like, I always... No, anyone who goes on this site does not just go straight... Oops! Well, I guess a lot of people go to the sex story section. Yeah. Hmm. People, like, people are into the very different things. Hardcore sex for real I feel like the sex stories are more geared towards women because women are more than just visual creatures, whereas men, I think, are a little more. But this that's just... fucking a doll. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pause that for a second. I didn't play it. It's funny. Have you, oh, it's a video. I thought it was a um. Ew. Why would you? Ew. I was looking at the preview. Why would you? Um. Sorry. Um. What? We we had a conversation like a while ago about like getting like scared boners. Mm. What's a scared boner? It's when you get a boner when you're scared. But it's like, are you actually aroused, or is You're it just aroused, like an involuntary? But you don't know why. It's like involuntarily. It's so it's like ooh, but it, it's not like when you're like eating a burger and then you get no, a boner. No. Like that's involuntary. That's like whatever. Yeah. It's like I'm turned on, but I don't know why because I'm still kind of scared. Yes, that's it. So I feel like, do you think that's what like essentially what BDSM is? It's kind of like a scared boner. Yeah. Yeah. Like think when you think about it right because it's like it's like a scary situation depending on how intense it goes but it's pain it's blah 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 but it's like you're still aroused by it Mm -hmm. yeah i was thinking about that the other day i'm like oh scary boners are really just like or or maybe i'm completely wrong maybe someone who's like into bdsm is like are you fucking stupid (laughs) 
But like, I, I don't know. I'm not scared. I like it. Like people have me. people have like fetishes of like people have like oh, I don't even want to say this because it just it. it disgusts me. Just say like it. rape fetishes. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. But I'm saying like it's that's weird. a scared boner. It's weird, but it doesn't surprise me. It's a power thing. It doesn't surprise me because <clears throat> people are into everything. Mm-hmm. But I just don't like it. Just the yeah, idea yeah, of yeah. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Rape and like being a woman and like you know I it's just I don't Same. It's not, I don't like rape also. Oh, as a woman you relate as, a, as well. No, as a man, <laughs> a black man in jail, I relate. Oh, oh, you better clarify because people are gonna think you actually went to jail. No, I didn't go to jail. Um, how much time do we have left? We are at thirty-four minutes. Oh, we are okay. What? Go for it. Go for what? I don't know. What do you? What do you? What do you have today? What do I have? Yeah. I have. <laughs> You're like I have nothing. Nah. <laughs> uh. So are you still looking at the porn? No, I closed that like uh, a while ago. Well, because your eyes keep going towards your laptop, and oh, I yeah. can't see the screen, yeah, so I'm like. That. You're like, I have, and your eyes slowly drift to the computer? No. I don't know, man. Just, like, I don't know, stuff that's annoying is, like, all the... Well, I'm not, in, like, with all Ontario news, budget cuts, like, I'm not... Well, it annoys me. It, I'm not annoyed by it. The only thing that two things that annoyed me that I got... The three things that annoyed me that I got cut was the the trees. Mm. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't want to get cut. I would be more fine if it got reduced. What was it like? It's we, just fifty in, million dollars to plant trees all over the place. Yeah, all we were Ontario. supposed to have. It was fifty million. Yeah. So there was supposed to be a budget of fifty million dollars to plant trees, um, in Ontario, and that was just just cut, just like nothing. Yep. And then like the two things that really pissed me off were the stem cell research. I'm not and familiar. AI technology. What are, what are those? You got to tell me. I'm not. You know AI. No, I know what AI is, but I didn't. I didn't. What are funding, these programs that were cut? Just funding to. Just funding to that kind stem of cell research. I'm all about that. Yeah, that's AI, important. Mm, it's fine. Have you seen Westworld? I don't need the robots to become so realistic and want to live real lives and take the fuck over. It's fine. I can, like, I feel like I'm a lot more old school than a lot of people. Like old school mentality. Like I still have a house phone. <laughs> mm. Like you know, and it's like it's just like why? Why do we need all this technology? Why do we, our cars need to drive themselves? Mm. Elon Musk, why? Why? Mm. It, it's not necessary. Is it? No, it's not. That's They're going why. to take over, and we will not be able to take why them. I think I want to live up north. In the world of man versus machine, yeah, they'll probably take over the cities first, but yeah, I'm telling you, I'm, they're yeah. coming for you. It'll take a while. They're coming for you, and by the time they get to you, all the other people are dead, so you have a Good. worse chance of surviving. No, because there's nobody else to back you up. You're yeah, alone in the woods, no, yeah, but there's no and all I hear is like, honk, honk, and your car is like, mm, hello. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm not into, like, I like Tesla. No, I, I, I think like it cool, too. I do. But I'm still a petrol head at the end of the day. I still like gas-powered cars. No, I think, I I think the, the idea of the environment, I think we do need to take care Fuck of our planet. No, you say that now, but no, you like love nature. You love, you know. That's why I didn't like, like we, the trees getting cut. No, I know. We need to but take like, care of our planet, bro. <laughs> but that's why, like. We need to do better. But, like, well, it's too late for that. Um, it's never too late. Baby boomers kind of fucked that up. Um, Thanks, mom. But, like. Yeah, I don't know what people are so shocked about. It. And I'm just like, why are you so shocked that all these budget things are being cut? He's conservative. Conservatives are not generally for government spending. This is what you guys asked for. This is what you guys voted for. This is what you get. Because not only, like, I think, like, his approval rating is like, yeah, it's hor- Apparently, like, 75% of people disapprove of his, like, um, leadership. 75? Or something like that. I'm not surprised. Mm-hmm. But, like, at the same time, it's just like, one, the most liberal city. One in the world, like one of the most liberal cities, Toronto, and he won Toronto easily. So I don't know. Like, I'm not happy about a lot of the budget cuts, mm-hmm. especially like the science ones, because that to me is the most important thing. But at the same time, it's like, why are you surprised? It's conservative. Conservatives don't like spending money on the government. Conservatives are generally for the smaller government. So you should not be surprised by that. Yeah, you know, I feel like every election, people get hope. Don't. And they're like, a lot of politicians make a lot of promises. But that that's the sound thing. Great, but that's what politicians do. Yeah, you know? politicians are professional liars. And when it doesn't fall through, everyone's pissed, and it's just kind of like the same cycle over and over that's, again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't get shocked when stuff happens. And I like the like what I like about what's happening in the states right now. They're starting to have more politicians come up that don't seem like politicians. They just seem like regular people. Like the two that come to mind are Angie Yang and Tulsi. Something she's Hawaiian Congress lady, and they both seem normal. And the reason why I both like them a lot, 
Because on the Democratic side and the Americans, they're all fucking stupid, I think. They're all the same people. They're literally all the same people. They all want the same thing. They just look different. But the problem with them, a lot of the other people like, uh, I can't remember the, I can't remember anyone's name mm-hmm. on the Democratic Because there's so many fucking people on the Democratic side right now that are running that it's like, how the fuck are you going to keep up with all these people? That's going to be it, but the problem is, down a little but bit. But the problem is, is that they're all the same. Mm. They all are like saying the same shit. The only ones that are like that stand out that are different is tall is a congresswoman from Hawaii and Andrew Yang. And they both want similar things. But the thing I like about those two is that they're like the problem with especially the problem that I find with the Democratic side compared to the Republican side is that Democratic side seems to be like we put our party first before the people. That's how it seems like. They care more about their party more than they care about actually pleasing the people. They care more about pleasing their party before pleasing the people. But the thing is that I like about the Hawaiian Congress lady and I think Yang's the way he's saying like this, this is like the same is like like this also. He's like, I work for you, not my party. I don't mm-hmm. care about the party. I will work with because a lot of things Yeah, you can really respect that. The thing the thing that's annoying about and both sides are like this too, and even same thing with Canada, is that they don't want to work they they'll like say like let's say um I put up a law or a bill. Mm-hmm. Right? It's a good bill. But the fact that I'm on the liberal side or the conservative side the liberals won't will do anything in their power to not get that bill passed just from the sat but this from the fact that I'm conservative and the liberals and the conservatives are the same thing but then they'll pass then they'll propose like say like I'm the conservative proposing a bill liberals turn it down then all of a sudden out of nowhere they'll propose that similar same bill on the liberal side mm-hmm. and it's just kind of like well guys just you're not doing shit like the thing is that the thing that's annoying about politics nowadays is that you, they're the same they're they like they have differences but they have a lot of similarities same shit different toilet. but just because everyone's gone so fucking tribal nowadays is that it's like well you're a conservative so i don't like you well you're a liberal so you're a bitch it's just like you're the same shit <laughs> yeah. like social justice warriors on the liberal side are the same thing as social justice warriors on the right side they're the same fucking people but they just hate each other I think liberals right now are a little bit more crazier than conservatives because they, to me, liberals have more power in media. Yeah. But. Agreed. You're both fucking stupid. That's why I don't consider myself a liberal anymore. I'm just a centrist because I think they're both fucking dumb. I agree more with the liberal side, but I think they're both fucking idiots. Fair statement. They're both fucking stupid. <laughs> everyone's dumb as hell. It's not, not everyone's dumb. It's just everyone's gone so tribal now. Like Martin Luther King right now is rolling in his fucking grave. Oh, he's turning over. Because he's like, what the fuck? I wanted everyone to be individuals. Not- he's like, this was not my dream. It wasn't. It <laughs> literally wasn't. We're literally spitting on the guy's fucking dream. He wanted everyone to be treated as individuals, not everyone be treated as a fucking group. And everyone's being treated in like a fucking group. It's like, it doesn't matter what, like, just because, I don't know. I represent, let's say I represent fucking, uh, let's say, Seiko watches. Let's say I support versus them. And I do something stupid, mm-hmm. right? All of a sudden, the whole brand of Seiko watch, or the whole, or let's say I just like Seiko watches, whatever, right? Now everyone that's associated like that wears a Seiko watch is considered an asshole because I did something stupid. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be like that. It should be, I'm the one that should be centered out because I did something stupid. It should be put How into the group. How do you feel about if, so using your same example, if one of the directors on the commi- on the board for Seiko mm. says something. Not all of them, but one of them. Then who, he should be held accountable for what he said. But do you think as a representative and an owner of the brand then that the should brand be, should suffer no. as a representation no. of he no? should suffer. He should be kicked out and then replaced. What if he holds Seiko? What if he what if he can't be? What if he is the company he refuses to be pushed out? He will be pushed out. The investors no, will be like, get the fuck out of here. It depends. It depends on the company, right? We're using Seiko as an example, but like, think about this a little more generally. Not every company can push out someone out unless oh. they decide to step down. Like, you know what I mean? It yeah. depends on the stakes and the investors and like how oh, much trust of me, shares when a, when that the person When a guy who's up there does something stupid, the investors will be like, hey, hey, you better fucking fix your it shit. It depends on if they have investors because what if this person was already wealthy, they made their company, the company's super the company, big, but they are, it's a sole proprietorship. The company, they own the company. Well, the company shouldn't suffer, but it will because he's a sole person. The company shouldn't suffer, but the they sadly would. I think the company should suffer. If, if the person... If the company does bad stuff, then yes. But if that When you one are person, representing a product or a brand, you need to hold yourself accountable and act accordingly. You know? Yeah, no, but the people that... When I, like, as a company, when I mean the company as a whole, like the people that work for the company and stuff, they all shouldn't have to suffer. Oh, you know what? I agree. 
when you think about the, the that's what jobs I'm talking about. And the, yeah, oh, I mean. for sure. Yeah, they like, shouldn't suffer. Even down to like people at retail, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, that does. Yeah. yeah and, and that's what sucks. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah, you make a good point. Yeah. Make a good point, but Everyone should be. It should be about the individual. I have like. But it's hard to continue to support that. Knowing now, that, how fucking culture has kind of shifted, which no, is so but fucking disappointing. But I feel like it's that. going it's back. It's like if, for instance, I, was it Gucci with the, like the racist shit? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> right? Funny. It's like if a company does something, or like the H and M thing, right? That that I don't know how that fuck that the, happened. The how coolest, did that, the coolest monkey in the jungle. Well, that shit was fucking hilarious. T-shirt. The mom approved of it. Right, because she's not. She's, she's like, bro, like, it's a monkey. Like kids are little monkeys. Like you're like the five racist little for monkeys thinking that jumping way. on a bed. One fell down and bumped if his head. Like kids, they jump, by, no. they climb, yeah. they 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 yeah, do Yeah, kids things. are monkeys. But you have to be sensitive. Just now, we saw an article where um a, a guy uh, he was a restaurant owner in New York was trying to stay at an Airbnb. And the owner came, kicked them out at 2 a.m. And was like, which one of you monkeys is yeah, going to stay on the couch? Yeah, but she's calling a monkey. The ancient is not calling the kid a monkey. No, I know. But I'm just saying you have to be sensitive. These days you just have to because people... So is that the company's fault or is that people's fault? It is the company's fault for letting that slide. But is that the people's fault for being more too sensitive? Because isn't that make you... Aren't you the, in the wrong for seeing a black kid and monkey and assuming that that black kid's a monkey? Doesn't that make you the racist for assuming that? The masses overreacted. People went into just random so retail that, stores. So is re- that right? Retail H&M, H&M stores and trashed the stores. So is it right to make the people that work at the store suffer then? It is not right. No. So then doesn't that make you just as bad as the company? No, I'm saying it's not right for that to happen. Yeah. However, somebody along the chain of command should have. Oh, no, that. like it was stupid. The company, the higher ups, there need to be repercussions. That goes for the through like, that goes through thousands. So of people. many people. How did you? Uh, but like, no one like, thought about it. Probably one person's like, <laughs> I understand from the mother's perspective. She's like, I don't find anything wrong with it. I'm okay. That's fine. Let that like, that's what people are like going after the mother. I'm like, that's her kid. No, Let her mom, do whatever the mom's she in the feels right. like is okay. Yeah. That's they're fine. more in the wrong for going after the, going after the mom. Once again, I think you're more, you're the racist for a, like, I get it. But I to me, like, you're more of a racist. Put like, them in two keep the together. shirt, keep the shirt I and like put shirt. it on a, put it on a white kid. Nah. He can be like a little albino no, monkey or race, something. That's still racist. There's all there know. is white monkeys. There are. You the, can't the, do that. So you call them white people monkeys, Joe? We technically we all came from monkeys, right? Are wow. we all descendants? Wow, racist through here. Evolution, like we were evolution all evolution is not and, a thing. Okay, the Earth is only five thousand years old. Six thousand. Yeah, no, Jesus. it's only two thousand and nineteen years old. Get the fuck out! <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, yeah, the either world, way. I, the world pisses me off. I, the world doesn't piss me off, but I just try to pay attention to the... I pay attention to the news and what's fucked up in the world, but it's just like, it's the same shit over and over again. And then people are just like, why do people on the right keep winning? It's because the left, you guys suck. Your leadership is shit. Sorry, a slight side note. You know what I always find, like, ironically funny? What? You know how, like, when we're talking about years, it could be like, oh, like, 1800 B.C., Right. Mm. And like scientists and professionals will use this term. Um, and then you're just kind of like, OK, but they they don't believe in God or they don't. This is universally atheist. accepted. That's why I know. But it's just kind of like, what does BC mean? It means before Christ. So if you Big are God. an atheist, how are you talking about uh, how are you measuring time before this person that you claim just is been, just been, fictional? Just, it's just kind of like find another term. Like if people want to use BC, use BC. If well, not, Christ use, is a guy. So technically, you could still use it. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus was a dude. He was a short <laughs> little Arab dude. You you know what I'm saying though. Yeah, I know. What you're it's saying. just kind of like all right. But if it's like if it's been used for like hundreds of years, it's like oh, why the fuck not? I, I get it, but if if you are gonna be one of those, you know, some atheists they love to like preach. Yeah. yeah Same yeah. way a lot of religious people love to preach at people. You should believe in God because and then and then and then you're going to hell. And other people like there is no hell because like it's just it's annoying on both mm-hmm. sides to me. What is hell? But. If hell is right now me in this room with you, oh, God. the only thing that would make it worse is if you farted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's my hell. <laughs> but, ew, what? You just, like, stop moving. Like, you're not trying to conjure one up, are you? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways, I think that's all the time we have for today. Is it? Yeah, you, you always sure? do that. Every time I'm like, oh, that's it. You're is like, is it? An end of time? That's all the time we have for this podcast. 
thank you guys so much for listening hello thank you for being in this square room don't forget to share it with a friend you better share it join our nonsense join the family uh, well, join the family. square family we're family we're family yeah we are no. family no, okay I got all my sisters with me. Oh, you're still going. Yeah. All right. Well, all <laughs> right. Well, thank you for listening. Uh, we will okay. see you guys next Tuesday. Yep. Bye. Bye.